Well, hello, Shirley Rocks here. Welcome to another simulator video. Today we are looking at Mech Mechanic Simulator. Now, I've played quite a few simulator games. I've worked on tanks, I've worked on bikes, I've worked on cars. Don't think I've ever worked on a mech before. Now, this is a, it's a game by a developer called Polyslash, and I actually got a key to this from a um, a gaming agency which is called better gaming pro so big shout outs for them thank you for sending me the key and we're gonna check this out now so here we go new game let's see what it's like to work on a mech you're finally here here we go your competitors were not as lucky as you are and they are still sitting in their holes and you got this gem. What is it? Is that the mech above me? Um. Okay. Next. What is it? Are we are we inside the workshop? Oh, this is a base. What? <laughs> what is it? What? What do we? I, I love like little. The fact that some artists have sat there and done stuff like this. Look at this. Keep calm and pull really hard. <laughs> Oh, I'm easily pleased. You know how hard it was to find this place? And unregistered mechanics are still being prosecuted by the authorities. Since you're operating in a somewhat gray area, they'll surely make me your partner in crime. Screw me apart and make me a blender or some other tool. Just be careful, okay? Okay, you might feel a bit lost at the beginning since this workshop is a few times larger than the hole you built me in. <laughs> Once you've taken a look around, go to your mm, office. Okay, so let's have a look how big it is then. I must say, it does look... I'm getting some um, Matrixy vibes off this. Remember in the, uh, the Matrix when they were in the... Uh, just, just in the ships in general. Ah, that's pretty cool. I've got to go and look at the posters. Okay, there's a little rubber duck there. What is that? <laughs> what? What are these posters? Where are? Oh wow! Look at this. Oh yeah, I like this. It's like Blade Runner or something. Ah, oh, that is cool. That is really cool. Right, here's my um, office. Apparently, we need to get an official license as soon as possible. Without it, no one will risk giving us a bigger job. Oh, it's got shiny thing. It looks like PLA. I don't think it is. I think it's probably diodes. With this handy PC, you'll have access to the job office. Um, do you want to continue? Yes, I would. Who are you then? Hello? Why are you in my workshop? Um, I need to use the computer then. Here you can see the list of all currently available job offers. Right, so what's the first With job? Time I can do that. Uh, we've got one job. Pays $9,800. This panel will let you know the details of the selected job. You'll see what corporation is trying to hire us, the mech model, the job description, and what tasks you'll need to complete. Accept the job when you're ready. So, this job is with Sakura Technology. They want the mechanic. Uh, the operator error caused an explosion of experimental substances that damaged the unit. Replacement parts of a lower class mech shouldn't be too costly. At first glance, the damage doesn't seem to be too serious. So I got to repair a mystery part. Oh, here it comes. Hello there. I hope it's easy to identify the parts, because that's one thing I always struggle with these in these games. Right, let's head to the assembly station to see what's wrong with our patient. <laughs> I must say, my patient is a little bit ginormous. Look at it. Wow. That is a massive mech. Okay, so we're going we to interact with this. We need to find out what's damaged in the mech. clean it. To do that, we will use this station. But right, now, are we going to clean it automatically, or are you going to make me spray it with a hose or something? Enter the cleaning mode by pressing the cleaning button. Okay, by pressing and holding left, start the flow of water, move it around to clear the mech. You can rotate the... Okay... So it, it is basically I'm squirting a hose pipe on it. 
There we go. Clean your little feetsies. Oh, lovely. Lovely little clean mag. There we go. Is there a percentage you need to do? Oh, it's lovely. Look at look look how clean it is. It's cleaner when it was assembled for the first time. Return to the assembly screen and select the scanning option. Wow, that does look completely different. It's pity you can't zoom in and out on that bit. All right, let's scan it. Before the scanner turns on, you'll need to adjust it to every mech. We are currently working on our workshop. To adjust the scanner, you need to increase or... Okay, so we need to get these frequencies the same. Um, once you've hit the right spot, it'll find the damage right. So we just need to get the waveforms to match somehow. Oh, so we need to do up and down and left and right. All right, let's see. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I think we nearly had a match then. There we go. I has match. Tell me which part is faulty. Is it the sprocket? It's going to be your big end, isn't it? Or your, or your head gasket. Right, scanning is complete. By scanning it, we found out how to fix it. To open the list of tasks we need to complete, press tab. Return to the assembly screen and press the assembly button. Right, so click that. Press that. Okay, so it's got a faulty legacy CA010301 part. Um, move that out of the way. This panel will let you select the mech. Modules highlighted in red are the ones you found. And what are the ones you found? A damaged part in during scanning. Press the bo broken module and select one of the workbenches. So something's broken on its arm. And move it to a workbench. Okay. We now need to detach a few parts that are blocking the module. Aim your cursor at the blocking part and remove them by holding left mouse. Remember, you can only detach parts that are highlighted in green. Those that become red when targeted are blocked. Okay, so we're getting rid of the arm, aren't we? So let's, let's get that bit off first. And then this bit. Detaching. This part is held place. Oh, okay, so we just need to take the screws out. We've all played PC Build Simulator. We know how to take a screw out. He says as he messes it up. <laughs> okay, there you go. Just whip that off. I'm assuming I need to come over here now. Interact with this panel, maybe. Use the movement button. You can freely rotate the camera around the module. Uh, use the curse. You can select the parts that interest you. Also, the damaged part will be visible. Okay, so here's the broken bit. Use Q and A. You can switch between the attaching and detaching modes, just like in the assembly station. Use your cursor to see which parts have to be detached before you can reach the damaged part. Okay, so this is the bit we're trying to fix. Aiming at a part will allow you to see some basic information. From our point of view, the most important detail is the part status. Parts can be good quality, damaged or broken. We'll be able to fix the damaged part in the repair station once we get them. Parts that are completely broken cannot be fixed. Okay, so I just need to remember broken parts can't be fixed, have to be replaced. Um, I think this is going to be a case of looking for the green thing again. Right, so this is... I think we need to replace that bit there, so that's right in the middle. So... I'm assuming I just go like this. Mech, to parts are to, uh, mech parts are divided into categories. Detaching a part will be different for each category. Right, I see an arrow explaining what movement needs to be... To, what? Right, so let's just take that off and then move up. Fine. Now we need to get to the damaged part. Detached? Yes. Right. Let's take the next bit off. Come on. Let's whip it off. Oh, we had to, to wiggle it left and right then. Uh, we'll take off this little ring thing here as well. There we go. And we still need to get to that. But that is blocked by this bracket. And that's blocked by this. Right. I think we're making progress. Okay, now we can take this bit off. So we'll take that off. And let's have a little look. What's that blocked with now? Um, this bit here, I think. Right, we're gonna have to take all of this off. Oh, this is this is gonna be a nightmare to put back together. Okay, that needs the screw taken out. Then that bit taken off. 
this bit also needs to come off, so let's get the old uh, screws out. Okay. Okay. So, we need to get to this bit now. Well, or do we? Wait a minute. That's the part there. It says it's blocked by this. Let's, surely we can get access to the part if we take this off. No. Oh, how many part? This is like, this is never going back together the same way. This is going to be an absolute nightmare to put back together. I hope you're all watching and remembering what order these parts go back in on it, because I don't know. Right, it seems we can now remove the source of the issue. Go on. Right, so let's get this out. This is... Oh, you've got to be kidding me. After all that, it's a cable. I've got a faulty cable. At this point, we don't have the hardware necessary to fix this part, but once you get a license, we'll be able to buy stations to fix it. But now we'll have to replace it with a new one. Enter attaching mode. So I'm assuming that's going to be that button up there. Is it? Wait a minute. Oh, in this mode, we can see all areas where parts can be replaced be highlighted. Click on the, the place from which you just removed the damaged parts. That was here. As you probably noticed, we can access our inventory from this station. We don't have a new one, so we'll have to buy it. So let's search in the shop at the bottom. The button will move you directly to the shop and automatically filter, leaving only parts. Oh, that's pretty good. Because I know, like, the likes of um, some games, it, you'd have to search for the part and remember it. So I just need to buy this then. On the right hand side, you can set the number of parts you wish to buy. For now, we only need one. Okay, so I'm going to buy one. Wow, nearly two grand for a cable. More expensive than a, a uh, monster HDMI cable. Now that we have the part, we can return to fix it in the Mac, leave the shop. There are two parts on the inventory list now, the old one and the new one. Notice how the difference in quality. Each has one of four ratings. Unrepairable, damage repaired, and... Okay. So, I want this. I want to stick this one in. Seems the issue has been solved. Now you need to reassemble... Oh, reassemble it all. Okay, so, we'll, yeah, we're going to stick that bit back on. Oh, at least we don't have to do the actions. Yes. Yes. Oh, developers, I love you. Because that would have driven me no If I had to do all that stuff again manually then, I would have lost my mind. So I'm just sticking all this back on. There we go. Get the old screws back in. Yeah, stick that bit back on. That big screw goes back in. That goes on there. Stick the side bits on. Stick the exterior bit on. When reassembling the mech, make sure all the parts are in their places. Returning mech with missing parts. Okay. Tap. Tap. I don't know if that's assembled or not. Is it? Is it? Is that everything ready? Seems to think everything's ready. Um. Okay. So that was the repair sort of thing. So do I need to go to this one now and stick the arm back on? We now need to reattach the module. We do that in the same way we detached it the other way around. So we select assemble. Select the detached module. So it's right arm. Here we go. Houston, we have connected the arm. We're going to put the old screws back in. Yeah. When you finish all of the main goals of a job, you'll be able to return it. Of course. Right. Well, that's, that's it then. That is it. Let's close that. Let's go hand it in. Is there a neat... Oh, look at that. Look at that. Wear eye protection. He, wear... he wears eye protection, but he also is cool. <laughs> what? I bet there's so many little Easter eggs in this. Can I get up there without going all the way up these stairs? Well, this is the back entrance. That's a little bit quicker. Get out of the way. What's in there, though? What's in the secret vault room? Anyway, let's hand this job in. The, the screen enables you to return the job. Some of the jobs we might get will have additional jobs. They are not mandatory to do... Okay. I think we didn't have anything for that one. It was just that. Okay. Freshly cleaned. You got a fresh arm. Well, you know, you got a repaired arm. 
you ready to go back to battle or whatever that job is? We got 9,000. Yes. Well, that was pretty good. You can enter the shop anytime. Let's have a look. Open the shop by pressing I. But here is the shop. Here we can buy and sell parts. On the left, you can search for parts by their names or use filters. Always check the part price before you buy it. The market is unstable right now and prices change a lot. Luckily, the current price changes are displayed next to the item's cost. Okay, so yes, yeah, so we can see stuff is is under the, the uh, amount and over the amount. Fine. And what do the filters bring up? Um, okay, different types of robot. Ooh, some of these. Oh, some of them look pretty cool. Armor cables, hydraulic power module, limb parts. Loads of stuff on here. Right, let's press I. Nope, how do we come out of here? Escape. There we go. Can I has new job? Right, we've got four jobs. Now, is there any with e extra jobs? Doesn't say, does it? I mean, that's only got one part to repair. Can you pay for my maintenance? Where? Uh, we're going to accept this job. I don't know it's mine at all. Let's see what this job is. Oh, look at this. Yeah, I'm not saying that's the space dot loader from Aliens, but um, yeah, that's an interesting looking mag. Oh, what's that? What does this screen do? Oh, so here's, here's... Right, so we need to clean it. We need to find out what's wrong with it. Okay, let's go. Can I not just jump down the stairs there? It's so annoying, I can't do that. Okay, so first of all, we need to clean the mech. So we'll clean it. Here we go. I'm wondering that there. That's my water level, isn't it? I best not have to pay for my water, otherwise there will be trouble. There will be trouble in the mechanic station. Oh, this is filthy. What's it been doing? Right, it's all nice and clean. Right, let's scan it. So we need to get the modules moved. I'm just doing um, A and D at the moment. I think we need to drop it down a little bit. Okay, let's try that bandwidth. It's gone up a little bit. Oh, this is interesting. I can't seem to match this one. It's not a flat line. And I don't think it's that one. It's got to be this one. Really close. I think it is on this angle. There we go. We have scanned it. Now, what is the faulty part? I can see it's on the left. The hot dog looks like it's faulty on the left. Now, do I have a spur hot dog? Um, so it's the right arm. I, d I don't think I can identify what's faulty until I take it off properly. Right, so we're going to take all this off. This is a pretty cool looking mech, though, with all like, the cameras and stuff on it, though. So we do that. Then we come out of this. And then we'll run over to this one. And we'll examine it. Right, so... Um, no, go again. Where's the faulty parts? Is this thing here. It is the Minotaur HY... So it's hydraulics. Minotaur. Oh, I, don't, I don't really understand if I've got one of those parts in stock. Let me just come out of this. And... Let's change my filter to Minotaur Hydraulics. Now, have I got the part in stock, though? Hmm, because this is a shop, isn't it? I'm going to say I've got that in stock. So we're going to try and get that out. So we need to figure out how to get it out. Right, so. Oh, wait a minute. That's the faulty part. Can we just take it out? Okay, so we've just 
chuck it out. Um, and we need to put a new one in. I don't. Th I don't think that bit there. Let's search and shop. So it's the o six o five o two. I'm gonna buy another one because I. I don't. That's got the durability, hasn't it? So we're gonna put a fresh new one in. Let's put a fresh one in. So we'll stick that in like that. Perfect. And that's all we have to do. That is it come out of that come over here it assembly you didn't manage <gasps> to fully reassemble the module oh. attaching it back oh okay we were a bit cocky what what's that did we miss oh wait a minute did i take some did i take anything off it i didn't think i did wait a minute what's wrong with that Now, I'm confused because that's the part there. We took that out, though, didn't we? Wait a minute. For the next paycheck, I'll get myself a laser cannon. I think we've just installed it. Oh, hang on a minute. I've taken it out. I'm an idiot. <laughs> Oops. Right, that should be it now. I don't know how I switched to the uh, disassembly one then. Okay, so it was the right arm. Stick that back on. There was some tubing or something to put back on, I think. Yeah, let's stick the tubing back on. Is that it? It seems, it seems too easy. I think that is it. I think that's all we had to do. Let's go in here and check it out. Um, so we cleaned it, we repaired the part. It's a finished job. Off it goes. Goodbye, Meg friend. But well, we did it. Didn't get any reputation though, which is a bit disappointing. Finally. Now we are oh, finally able to get buy a license. mechanic license. With oh, so we're going to get a license. Open the company tab, select buy license. So how much is a license? 25 big ones. So this unlocks gaining rep. Oh, I see. More advanced jobs. Ability to purchase, purchase stations. Ooh, I can create me logo. We can have our own Shirley Rocks logo. Um, yeah, now we need to get my logo. A real company. Use the Let's arrows. Start with the Use... logo. Yeah. Okay, so what what choice have we got? I can I change the symbol. Mm. What symbol represents my channel? I quite like that one. The, like the all seeing eye. Rip. Yeah, well, that. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, I, saw, I, I like that one actually. Good little selection of ones you can have. I quite like this one though. I like the uh, subtlety of that. Now we've got to choose our colours. So is this the logo colour, this one? No, it's the banner. I reckon that should be like a, a reddish colour. And the underneath has got to be green. And then the main colour for our logo. What would be a good complementary colour for that? White and uh, black. Black's pretty good. And we can put our name. Put our name in Charles. Thanks to us starting a company, we will yes. finally get the treatment we deserve. And we're gonna get reputation for our jobs now. The better standing we get, the more serious jobs we when get. When it comes to hardware, the license gives us access to special, special rep repair stations. Ooh. Oh, so we better repair the parts. That's. <gasps> 
so here's the station stop shop oh we can't buy anything so we need to get a little bit of trust and then we can buy stuff Ooh, decorosion station a tablet and a welding station well that's pretty interesting pop out of that wow so i think that is going to be all i'm going to show you for now so this has been a quick little look at mech mechanic simulator seems pretty good i like i must say i like the um mechanics for this for the whole repairing where a lot of these games tend to it's not just a case of hand holding a lot of the games they make it so it's not fun that when you've got to replace a part and you're clicking on stuff and you don't know what you're clicking on that that is fun where it tells you which which the part is but there's still a chance that you can mess it up so i like that a lot so yeah this is pretty awesome oh look it's even done me little logo up there look there's the rip studio anyway if you would like to see more of this on the channel let me know and also if you enjoyed watching this video let me know that is it for now i'm shirley rocks this has been mech mechanic simulator and if you've managed to last it this far in the uh the video if you could do me a favor if you could leave a comment on the video drop me a sub and ring a ding my bell thank you very much for watching i'll see you next time